Scientist with Lee, your independent Sensei consultant. Welcome back to my channel today and to this what I've warmed this week slash week and a half. So, as I've mentioned before, I'm doing two videos over three weeks just because I've been away and I'm away again for a few days. So, to save time and to not kind of end up doing one over three weeks, I thought I'd split them. So let's start with the two nonsensy ones. So the first one is Pink Elephant by Whitman and Co. And this was quite a light, fruity, tropical fruity fragrance. So the scent notes are honeydew, kiwi, mandarin, watermelon, cherry and cassis. So that one's now finished. And then I've been warming Cozy Cabin from Kringle Candle. And the scent description for this is brown sugar, vanilla bean and warm cinnamon accords embrace rich wood notes as a smoky inkling adds the perfect finish. And it's, I would say it's slightly similar to Around the Campfire by Scentsy. Just that rich, woody, smoky fragrance. Overall, it's quite nice. I have three pieces left of it. So I won't, I probably won't finish that now until the weather goes a bit colder. Um, or I might do, depending on my mood because who says winter scents have to be just for winter. So then I finished off a coconut lemongrass and I do really like this one. So the scent notes or the scent description of this is creamy tropical coconut and sunny bright lemongrass. And yeah, it is. It's really nice and fresh and creamy. Then from the Catch and Z's collection, I've been warming through Sleep Happy and the description of this is Drift off to dreamland where delicate violet and bergamot rest on musk clouds. And it's... When I first had the Sleep Happy collection, I really wasn't fussed on it. But the more I've warmed them, the more I've kind of grown to like them. I have three cubes left of this, I wouldn't purchase another bar. Once this one's gone, it's gone. Um, I do have Snuggle Up in my Sensi Club. For me, Snuggle Up was the nicest of the bars. It won't stay in my club forever um, because there are other ones that I tend to <coughs> excuse me, intermix. Sorry about that. Um, there are other ones I tend to intermix or intersperse, like Jammy Time, um, Chamomile Daisy, Lavender Violet. So it will take me a while to finish off the Sleep Happy ones. But yeah, it, it's, it's nice enough now that I've warmed through it. Then another one that I've finished off, which is Russell Wonderland. So the description of this is orange zest, lemon peel and cinnamon stick of fresh pine. When I first had it, I didn't like it. The more I warmed it, the more I grew to quite like it. It became one that I generally warmed only in the utility room because it worked really well in there. Um, have contemplated buying another bar. I'm not going to because I have so many bars I need to work through anyway. But I have enjoyed that one. Then we have Disney's The Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl and the description of this is Enchanting strawberry, raspberry, lime and subtle waves of sea mist will make you fall head over heels. And this one, on cold sniff, I'm not a fan. And when I first, I've only warmed two cubes and on first warm, I really wasn't keen. The second cube I warmed, I probably the first hour still didn't enjoy it. Then it kind of settled down. So I'm not sure what's in it that I'm not keen on. But after the first hour or so, it kind of tones down and I do quite enjoy it. 
it's in my sense pleb for jade at the point where she decides she doesn't want any more I may just have one more bar for me um, not sure yet because for me I think there are bars out there that I far prefer so I probably won't and then we have pineapple mint with the description of juicy pineapple, fresh orange and refreshing spearmint offer a crisp twist on tropical. Now all I get is minty pineapple, um, almost like when you muddle mint um, with maybe lime juice and as the base of the cocktail and then pour some pineapple juice on. That's but almost fresh pineapple juice rather than carton and it's nice it's not the best performer I tend to warm this in the kitchen where you just want something a bit more fresh again it's uh, I wouldn't probably buy another bar of it but while I'm warming it it's nice enough then I have the three bars from the recent bring back my bark collection so first one is vanilla mint and the description of this is winter green frost sparkles over vanilla and frozen citrus and for me I was very disappointed. On cold it I really really like it. It's a really crisp fresh minty fragrance but once you warm it um, sorry but I just noticed the lighting is really rubbish let me I really do need a better ring light um, yeah the cold I really like it warmed I get so little throw from it that even when I leave the room and walk back in I literally have to stand over the warmer to smell anything um, I will try in another room my study tends to be the room or the spare bedroom that poor performers perform okay um, particularly the study because there's no nothing by way of soft furnishings apart from my comfy chair there and my office chair there's no carpet or anything in here that tends to absorb but yeah for me on cold sniff I added it to my club but I can't see it staying in there um, no I which is a shame because I do really like it on cold then on to go glam so the description of this one is rich pomegranate blackberry nectar and midnight jasmine are ready for their close-up and oh boy it reminds me of a perfume I don't know which one but it has that kind of rich warm woody ladies perfume type vibe to it this one I have actually added to my club I've only warmed one cube and I was like I need I need me more of this and I don't know for how long so it's not just a case of all of another bar but it's such a nice one I formed that in this room and it performed really really well I'm not sure how it performs in other rooms but for me it's one that at the moment is in my club and will be in there for at least a few rounds then we have bubblegum blast again from the bring back my bar collection and the description of this is a perfect pop of bright orange, juicy cherry and sweet vanilla and oh boy. Again, this has gone in my club. Um, don't know for how long, but for now it certainly has the wow factor for me. And yeah, it reminds me of, I want to say Hubba Bubba, the bubblegum from when I was young. And I have to turn my light out. And it's just, oh, just fruity and just 
invoking of childhood. And that was so, so nice. And then that's all of the waxes I've warmed. I have gone through three oils, um, not completely through them, but I've diffused them. So the first one, well, they're all from the holiday mode summer collection, beach mode, sorry. So the first was totally tropical and I've got the scent notes here. So totally tropical, which is the one with the like coral color to it is perfectly ripe mango, papaya and strawberry will have you daydreaming of the tropics and it is very much tropical fruit and it's absolutely gorgeous it really really is and then we have the second one which is in the yellow ladling colouring and it's bikini martini and the description is kick back with refreshing pineapple yummy coconut and a drizzle of vanilla and again this one has kind of like that beach holiday vibe but the, you definitely get more of the coconut and vanilla I would say it probably reminds me slightly of like the suntan lotion and then finally in the lilac no the pinky color labeling is sandal season and the description of this is tiare flower fruity coconut and sandalwood create the perfect beachy vibe and this is actually what I have diffusing in my scented diffuser at the moment and it's absolutely lovely I would say this is is it my favorite of the three do, I'm not sure I do have a single favorite just because they all kind of tick different boxes for me like totally tropical is perfect for anyone like that tropical fruity fresh fruity tropical vibe um bikini martini again is kind of like reminiscent of a beach holiday with cocktails and just the waves lapping the shore and then sandal season is just a really really nice just almost chill out so yeah I probably couldn't pick a firm favourite out of those three but that's it from me for now I hope you found that useful do rejoin me next week Next, yes it will be the end of next week um, I probably will be doing another video before then possibly um, some more of the summer collection launches tomorrow evening which is stuff that's been stuck at UK Customs and then next week we have launch of the Beauty and the Beast collection so I need to get myself some of the wax to try the last petal which is bergamot something and flower petals bergamot lime maybe um, but that just sounds right up my street so looking forward to trying that and until then take care stay safe and join me in another video see ya mm -hmm.